Hello and welcome to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. I'm Dave, I'm your host, and I teach in Fort Myers, Florida. So welcome, I am glad you are here. So today would be my, I guess my second in a row at least, of talks on Alex Honnold and um, his adventures and how that can apply to my life and yours as well. Hopefully, hopefully we can make some connections here. So I, like I said in previous episodes, if you've heard, um, I've just really been a fan of Alex Honnold lately. He is a professional rock climber and he climbs, uh, not always, but his big climbs, his major famous climbs have been free solo is what it's called when you are climb without ropes or out without, uh, holding on to anything except your, you know, with your fingers and, and using your, your, uh, your sneakers, your climbing shoes, which is, um, just amazing to me. But for a while, well, I listened to this, his audio book called Alone on the Wall, and he, um, for a little bit there, he, he climbed, he, he had a great climb. It was um, a climb called Moonlight Buttress, and there's another one, I just can't think of right now, but he had some amazing climbs. And then he kind of slowed things down a little bit. He, he got injured. He also, um, you know, started dating, uh, his, which now is his fiance. Um he just kind of slowed things down. He he didn't have something to really go after. He was kind of, and I'm putting some words in his mouth, but, but basically he just, he, he needed a bigger goal. He did some of the main things that he wanted to do. He also climbed with friends and did some amazing things and, you know, speed records and, and other things, not always without ropes, but a lot of times, or just, um, you know, some different things that he wanted to accomplish. And he didn't, he didn't have that, that urge. He kind of took some time off. Like I said, he got hurt and, you know, he just, he needed something to make his climbs worthwhile, something big. And he also, um, had a film crew or people wanted to film him. And he's like, well, if we're going to film something, we got to film something big. I mean, people have seen these climbing things before. And, you know, if you're going to film something, go big, go big or go home. Right. So he knew that the biggest thing he could do, the one that no one had ever done before free solo was El Cap, El Capitan in Yosemite. And this is, if you've never seen this, it is amazing. Like I had only heard of it before. And then when I saw Free Solo, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's 3,000 feet straight up pretty much. I mean, it is unbelievable of just granite rock, just uh, just unreal. And so that is his El Cap. That was his El Cap. And I guess I'm going to give some stuff away, but he's still alive. So he did he did make it, by the way. Um, <laughs> don't worry. But there were a couple of times where I wasn't sure. Um, so a little spoiler alert there, but his L cap, you know, it kept him going. He trained for a couple of years just on different parts of it. Like I didn't, I didn't understand rock climbing. I still don't really understand it as much, but, and you know, if I've said on previous episodes, like I've never been rock climbing before. I just find it fascinating what he does. And, you know, he has inspired me by doing something I don't even do. So he, he kept training and training and training and getting stronger and working on different moves. And there's one, this one part, especially that he had trouble with. And, um, he just kept working it and working it and working it. And eventually he got it. And it, to me, it seemed like he needed that L cap. He needed something that just to go for, to keep him motivated. And, you know, I want you to think about what is, what is motivating you to keep going? So to me, my L cap was, uh, it's before I ever even knew about <laughs> a free solo. When I first started doing our our sport education shootball unit, and I do talk about that a lot, but there's a reason for it. When I first saw Jared Robinson's video on sport education, he did a volleyball unit, I believe. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. We're not going to go deep into this, but it's where all the students have a different job on a team, and then we have final a final game where we have you know, kids be the DJs and the referees and announcers and it's just really really cool and I also saw um, Nathan Horn do it with hockey and if you haven't checked those two out they're just PE legends so definitely check those two out at um, Jared is at connectedpe.com or the PE geek and then um, Nathan Horn is ifizzed.com they have amazing programs and I saw that I'm like man I gotta I want to do something like that that just that, that that's like can be, I consider my masterpiece. And I even told the students that first year we did it, and this is a good five years ago, I said, you know, 
when it all came together, I thought it was my masterpiece, but it was ours, like our fifth grade masterpiece. It was amazing. Just these, these kids that worked hard almost every day on the, the our tournament and the, their jobs and putting posters together and writing scripts and just doing everything, taking pictures. Um, they, there's equipment managers and fitness trainers. And, and again, this isn't a sported podcast necessarily, but that, that was my L cap. And since then I try to build on that every year, but I'm always still looking for that L cap. I'm always trying to look for that next masterpiece to keep me going. And, you know, I just want you to think about that today is your L cap. What is your L cap? So I'm not gonna give you a cowbell tip of the day. Like I, I, I basically give you the cowbell tip of the day. Do you want a cowbell tip of the day? You do, don't you? You do. All right, let's go. All right, so your tip of the day is to to find your L cap. If you don't have one, look around and and get inspiration from different places. You know, like I said, I'm always reading different books or listening. I'm I also do read, by the way. I'm, I listen and read to a lot of books. You know, I go on social media. I'm looking for things that I want to add to my program. So I'm just encouraging you to look for your L cap. Look for your potential masterpiece, the thing you really want to accomplish, the thing, the goal you really want to set for yourself. Look for that L cap. You can do it, and it'll keep you motivated. It'll keep you, you, you the fire lit inside you. I'm hoping for you, and I'm hoping for myself too. So um, I know some of these episodes have been short. I'm trying to keep, give you a, a good five to six to ten whatever minutes of semi-inspiration, if nothing else, and something to think about during your week. So that is your cowbell tip of the day. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the Super Size Phys Ed podcast. As always, go to the supersizephysed.com website for more information. If you want to be a guest on the show, you want to be a guest on our new podcast that we have coming out, Around the Horn, Phys Ed and Health. I forgot the name of it. Around the Horn, Health and PE uh, with me and Justin Schleider. I will, that's also in the, uh, the episode notes if you want to be a guest on our new show. So definitely sign up, PE Nation. You guys and girls are awesome. Here is a new beat for you.